Hello, I'm Officer Nick Chambers, Public Information Officer for the Sparks Police Department. This critical incident community brief is intended to provide you with information about an officer-involved shooting that occurred at the Iron Horse Shopping Center in the City of Sparks on May 30th, 2023. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to this case, so you have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know now. The Regional Officer-Involved Shooting Protocol conducts a thorough investigation alongside the Sparks Police Department, who conducts a use-of-force investigation internally, which typically requires investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. Once completed, the investigation in its entirety will be submitted to the Washoe County District Attorney's Office for review. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect and to defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Body-worn video cameras are worn by officers assigned to patrol duties and are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera limits the viewer from seeing everything the officer saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn cameras have a buffer of video without audio beginning 30 seconds prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly when an officer does not have the time to immediately activate the camera. I'm Deputy Chief Tara Edmondson. I'm going to give you a brief overview of a critical incident that resulted in an officer-involved shooting in the city of Sparks. On May 30th, 2023, Sparks Police Dispatch received multiple 911 calls advising there was a woman yelling for help in the 600 block of East Prater Way. Callers stated a male carrying a machete was yelling at the woman in the parking lot of the Iron Horse Shopping Center. The suspect was described as a white male adult with long hair, wearing a hoodie, and dark pants. Hi, it's the, it's on the jack in the box um on Crater Way where Applebee's and everything is. There's a girl yelling for help. Okay, Jack in the Box at East Crater and Miss Karen over there. Yeah, they okay. were um there was a girl screaming for help. Is she in a vehicle on foot? I think she was in a vehicle. I'm not 100% sure. Okay, All I know her? is that... Uh, huh? Did you ever see her or did you hear her only? Um, no. Just somebody told... The manager at Food Max told me to call the cops. Because somebody okay. was screaming help and stuff. Okay. Am I able to speak to them so that I can find out more? Yeah, the fucking... I don't know. I just got told... What? Wait, can I speak to the manager so I can ask some questions? The manager, I'm not with them. I'm walking back home because I was at food and that's getting food for my um family and stuff. Okay. All right. And do you have any other information from them? Okay. It's a guy. He's he. About, I can see the guy that's torturing his girl. She. Wait. He has wait. a uh, blue jeans. Hold on. Blue jeans on. jacket with a gray shirt. Hold on. One second. Hold on. Hold on. Can you hear me? Yeah, no, I can, but he's walking away. I'm trying to give you the details while I can. Okay. So he has a blonde, like, dirtiest, blondest hair. It's long, kind of goes, like, towards his shoulders, and, like, a little bit above his shoulders. Uh, there's a blue, it's a dark blue jean jacket, dark jeans, and then a black and white shoe. And okay. he has gold I need help in with the, has a blue shirt on, black sweater, black backpack. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. With white hold on. Riding. Hold on, because I still don't know what's going on here, so I need you to answer for me, okay? Where uh, I, is she? Oh, I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, but you can see I her now. I need you to help me. Okay. I know. I, I'm i understanding that, but I don't really want to be a part of this. I just got told. Okay. We need to right in front of food snacks in the okay. push store. They okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And what, does she look like she's injured? Um, She was crying, and she was trying to get away from this guy, but the guy won't leave her alone. Did he walk off to the hospital there? Huh? Did, did he leave or is he still there, the male? He's still there. Okay, is he white, black, or Asian? He's, he looks white. Okay, can you tell us about how old he is? He kind of looks like he's probably like 40, maybe. 
Um, let me think. My boyfriend's like five six, so like maybe like five seven, five eight ish because I can see like the length between him and my boyfriend right now. The Rock Church thrift store off of Plato, there's a dude with a machete. The Rock Church you said? What's the exact Yeah, the Rock there? Church thrift store. I'm right by six seven five McCarran, I'm at Super Chicks. I'm parked in front of Super Chicks, so it's right in okay, front of so like he, now they're in front of the Food Max. Okay, so there's somebody in front of the Food Max, and you said they have a machete. No, they have. I can visibly see the machete in his hand. Yeah, I understand that you say they have a machete. Oh, Are they doing anything with it? They're yelling and screaming at some guy that's trying to walk away from them, and now they're walking back towards me. So I'm gonna get. Okay, is it a male or a female? It's a, there's two males going after two males, one female. Okay, so I'm the person asking, with the machete, man, I need to know what they look he's, like. Oh, I'm sorry. He's a male. He's kind of far away from me. He has a black sweatshirt on. Is he white, black, there's Hispanic, two, or Asian? White. I mean, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sitting in front of the super chick. He's really far away. There's something on the back of his sweatshirt, so I just don't want to get too close. So my son's working. Sorry. And they're like in the middle of a parking lot yelling right in front of Food Max. There's a white truck kind of following them. Do you know if that's associated and to them? I can't tell, to be honest. Okay, the guy with the machete is walking back towards me. He's walking back towards the thrift store, towards McCarran, away from Food Max. Okay. Sorry. So the person with the machete, they're walking away from Food Max towards McCarran, you said? Yes. There's it's a guy and a girl. He's in a, he's white, black hoodie. Okay, so hang on real quick. Black the person, hands. the person with the machete, is he with somebody? Sorry, say that again. The person We're running after the... each other now. Sorry, I have to get in my car. Okay. The guy with the machete yeah. is currently he's running by the metro, by T Mobile. He's about to turn right onto McCarran. Okay, is he chasing somebody? He's being chased by somebody else right now. Okay, so the person with the machete is being chased by somebody else. Yes. So, the police, if he makes a... He's going the wrong way. Sorry, I can see the police officer right now. He's in the wrong is place. It, is it the police officer in the vehicle or on foot? They're all... They're um, in their vehicles. They're by the firehouse subs. They're in the wrong area. Okay. They need to go okay. by Super Chick. It sounds like I have... It sounds like I have somebody out with him. Is that okay? Oh, my God. Sorry. I've got to get my kid. Okay. All right. I'm going to let you go. Upon arrival, officers located the suspect matching the description given by multiple reporting parties and attempted to stop him. After giving the suspect multiple commands to stop, the suspect ignored the officer's lawful orders and began to run. During the foot pursuit, officers observed that the suspect was holding a knife in his hand. Officers told him to drop the knife but he did not. While officers were running after the suspect, the suspect suddenly turned and ran directly at the officers with the knife still in his hand. At that time, officers discharged their service weapons, striking the suspect. Officers then began medical aid until they were relieved by medical personnel. The suspect was transported to a local area hospital where he was later pronounced deceased. The following body-worn camera footage is from this incident. Out with two. Sparks, please stop. There's a kid with a machete over there threatening my life. Okay, sit on the curb for me. I don't know what's going on. Sit on the curb. Stop. Sparks tonight, too, is walking away from me. You can stop there. Copy, walking away from me. Yeah, he's running. Stop!
Trying to whip that up, Raider from the play logo. Drop the knife! Drop the knife! He's got a knife. Oh. Drop it. Night, two shots fired, one down. Officer's okay. Copy, shots fired, one down. Officer okay. Repeating, shots fired. Swing this way. Swing this way, triangulate. Suspect, put your arms out to the side. Night, two, start medical. Put your hands Stay out there. to the side. Stay back. Stay over there. Okay. Do you want to go less lethal? Yes. We're going to move up. Let's get that knife away from him and start doing medical aid, okay? Get your less lethal out for now. Let's get this knife away. Do not move. Okay, I'm gonna hold still and put on some gloves. Stay, Stay over Stay there. back. Do not move. Okay, let's pat him down. Hey, do you want to go get your trauma kit? Yep. Okay, go ahead. Let's roll him on me. Bud, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Don't All right. Any weapons. All right, let's uncuff him. Let's start CPR. Roll him back over. Okay, got it. Towards me? Yep. I got it. Okay, you got it? I got there? it. Sparks tonight, two starting CPR. Copy, starting CPR. Let me know you need to switch out. I'll watch these guys. Can you sit down for me, please? Did you see what happened? Okay, I still need you to hang there for me, okay? Stay there for me, ma'am, okay? Let me know you need to switch. I'm good. Good. You ready to switch? No, I'm good. Are oh, you you're good. good. Okay. All right. Let's get some chest seals. You guys got scissors? Yes. Yeah, here. Stuff off. Cut it here. Yep. Cut it up. Can you rip it now? Can you get a chest seal? Go ahead with the gear. I got both. I got seat here. Take scissors to start working on his pants. Looks yeah. like he might have a impact down there. Hold it real quick. Okay. Got one on. Stay back! Over there! Okay. 
Do you want to go less lethal? Yes. You're going to move up. Let's get that knife away from him and set him to medical aid, okay? Let me put gloves on. Get your less lethal off for now. Let's get this knife away. Good. Do not move! Okay, I'm going to hold still and put on some gloves. I'll stay lethal. Stay back. Do not move. Okay, let's pat him down. Hey, do you want to go get the phone? Yep, I got it. for 392 on that food max. But first day of May, it's secured. Westbound Prater in front of El Pollo, local. Westbound Prater in front of El Pollo, local. First day of May, The suspect was later identified as 29-year-old Dylan Wilson. The investigation revealed that Wilson was in possession of a black folding knife at the time of the incident. The Sparks Police Department and its officers take incidents such as these very seriously and they are treated accordingly. For questions or additional information regarding the Sparks Police Department, please visit www.sparkspolice.com. Thank you.